everybody. So as usual, we're starting with a problem to fix. So on this one, just came yesterday, the axle popped out as you see, and the board joint broke. So I had to take the wheel off, pull the entire spindle out, take the axle out, and then put new board joints in to fix this back up, get it back on the road for this afternoon. So, come along with me on this journey of fixing crap again. Okay. First thing you do is you take the wheel off, obviously, and then the tie rod. Take the tie rod screw off, and it has a little carter pin in the back. Let it take that off, pull it out, drop that side out, and then I'm going to take it off from the top with the two anchor bolts from inside the car so the whole thing just pops out as opposed to having to mess with the ball joint. Yeah, but this one allegedly was a new upper control arm, so I don't really want to damage this by taking it out. So, just do everything like that. Take off caliper, two tens, and I think these are 17s that hold the bracket to the knuckle. And then take it and get pressed out to put in your ball joints in. Got the most important part. Gotta take the axle out. This car, the axle is a 36. And so, we got the tie rod loose, and we all know. Nothing comes out as it's supposed to, so I have to start back it. And as you can see, the boot is busted, so it will need a tire right in, but honestly, I'm just trying to have them get rid of the car at this point, because there's so much stuff that's wrong with it. Not really I'm trying to focus on fixing those, I'm just trying to get the basic minimum done for today. So this way they could just at least get back on the road. And then if they want to fix the rest of the stuff, we could do it next week. So you see, the moves. The axle is stuck in there. I can't get the axle out. I guess my gun isn't strong enough, so I have to take it to the shop to have them do it there with a bigger impact gun. So now we're just going to take off the caliper. Just 217 for the brackets at the back. Whenever you're doing caliper, this is a nice little tool to have. Basically, just hook the caliper up somewhere. Just have it hanging on something. way there's no pressure on the lines it just hangs there out of safe and secure have it hanging off the spring so now it's time to go down here I'm trying to get the ball joint out I have it 
I'm going to take off the shock. If not, I have to take off the whole entire control arm and bring it to the shop also. But let's take off the spindle first. In order to take off the top control arm, the bolt is right here. And the second one underneath the fuse box. Actually, I have to take the fuse box out, move it out of the way, and then you'll be able to get to it. Right, here you go. As you can see, you just take the bracket out to that screw out that we showed you at the top. You should be able to lift the whole thing up, push it over to the side, have access to the bolt. All you gotta do is basically wiggle this a little bit and then the whole thing should just drop out. When all that's finished, you end up with this. The axle broke right there. It's actually like it was grinding that little wear spot. Whole unit is here. Control arm is in the top. Then now we just gotta take this whole thing to the shop to have them take off that bolt. Then take out the bolt joint and put a new one in. So we have the spindle out. As you can see, it's on the floor. Ball spindle axle assembly. That's the second half of the axle that's in there. I'll show you right here. So I'm gonna take that out a little later. Once, because that shouldn't be too hard to get out, so I'm gonna take that out once I get everything fixed on that at the shop because they close early today because it, it is Sunday. So, next I'm gonna try to do is take the carter pin out of this one so we could take off this bolt at the bottom. Here comes the hard part. We have to hope that when we hit it with the hammer, it will be able to just pop up. Because if I hit this stud right here, it'll just mushroom, it'll mushroom, flatten out, and I won't be able to actually get it out the control arm. So, now let's with the hammer. done. Now just a clean up, put everything in the car to take it to get pressed out at a machine shop. So we're back home. None of the shops are open. So I actually had to go to my boy's house. Luckily he was close. We have the axle out. As you can see, the new ball joint is in. We're going to install this over here. But first, I want to try to see if we get that axle in. fits through this opening so I don't have to take this whole thing out so I'm just gonna pop that little axle out in the back and then I should be good to go so starting to rain I actually have to hurry this up try to record as much as I can but I'm trying to get this job done before it starts pouring on me so we got the upper anchor bolts tightened down as you can see now we just gotta tighten up the caliper put that on and then Tighten up the cap and put it on. That's it.
we're just putting on the two bolts that hold the line to the spindle. This is that real world mechanics. You're working in the rain, it's a good day, it's cold, it's gloomy, whatever. This is what the real world is. There's no shop out here. We're in the elements and it's starting to pour. So I'm just trying to wrap this up as fast as possible. Get your tool. This car is a 36 millimeter. Once that's done, you see this indentation? You know, you just get a punch and hit this in flat so this way the axle does not back out. So, that's done, that's done. Put a tie rod in for now. The store didn't have a new one, so whatever. Let's just get this on the road for today. And then hopefully, yeah, listen, they're listening, just buy a new car.